G'day everyone, I'm Scott Emerson. I'm here at Sentinel Property Group. I'm here with the Chief Executive, Warren Ebbett, and the Director of Property, Tim Kent. Gentlemen, let's start with you, Warren. A big purchase, a big announcement. Caneland, Central and Mackay. Why that particular property? Scott, Canelands is the dominant shopping centre in the Mackay region. It has approximately 200 tenants, 60,000 square metres of net level area. That's six hectares. It is an irreplaceable asset in a very, very strong market. All right, a, a shopping centre. Uh, why that particular kind of property? You mentioned you know Mackay very well. A lot of people wouldn't know Cane Land. They've never been there. They don't know much about Mackay. But we do know that uh, people have talked about shopping centres say, oh, look, that there's a bit of concerns about shopping centres. You seem to have great confidence in this particular property. Well, Scott, I have great confidence in the Greater Mackay region and every man, woman and child in the Mackay area go to this shopping centre 4.7 times a month. So it is a place for the community. It's where they go to meet, greet and spend. And as I said, it is irreplaceable. It's 15 hectares of land in the centre of Mackay. You cannot replace that. All right. So retail particularly, very popular in Mackay, central to Mackay. But why is this the right time now to buy this particular property? Uh, there's another great Warren, Warren Buffett. And as he says, you've got to be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So a lot of owners of shopping centres have been fearful the last couple of years, particularly with COVID. We saw over 12 months ago record numbers of people going uh, so buying online where they hadn't before. And when you think about it, when there's a COVID lockdown and you can't leave your house, you have to shop online. You really don't have a choice. But what we've now seen from statistics, and I've just come back from a retail tour in America, that people are coming back to shopping centres in, in droves. A lot of the people who hadn't shopped online, they're now realising why they didn't like online. You order Granny Smith apples and delicious apples turn up. You order a pair of shoes, and they don't fit. People, not only do they want to go and, and get exactly what they want themselves, but they want to go and mix with people. So we've seen the shopping centre numbers, the retail turnover, the foot traffic, is way back above where it was in 2019. And there's been actually a big renaissance in, in uh, people going to shopping centres. You mentioned about uh, Warren Buffett and uh, people being fearful. There's a lot of concerns out there at the moment. Interest rates are going up, uh, concerns about recession, say, in America. Uh, for investors, looking at this particular uh, property, the Caneland Central, why should they say, look, this is a good buy, I want to get involved in it? Scott, I think one of the things that people are concerned about at the moment is inflation. <clears throat> and because of inflation, uh, that's re or the Reserve Bank of Australia is starting to put interest rates up. Now, if you go, you go back and speak to, or speak to the older, wealthy people, and they'll tell you the best store against inflation is bricks and mortar. So you've got inflation running at 5 or 6 or 7%, whatever it is. Now, that means prices are going up. So if prices of groceries are going up, prices of, of all sorts of goods, clothes, you know, bedding, whatever it is, if they're going up, that means your retail turnover goes up. If your retail turnover is going up, then your rents are going up. So why wouldn't you want to own a quality shopping centre in an inflationary environment? That's the best way to secure your future wealth. And you mentioned Mackay and the region there. Uh, as you say, it, 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 it has the, the capacity to deal with direct selling rather than dealing with, uh, say, online buying because of the, the distance. It's a regional area. But also, uh, the central Queensland, there are some concerns about the economy in central Queensland, especially in terms of an area which is very reliant on the mining sector. Um, how has Mackay coped previously with downturns? The people who are very concerned about the, the central Queensland economy are people who haven't been there and, and don't understand it. At the absolute worst of, of the mining downturn, so that the, the GFC uh, downturn and the mining downturn don't run at the exact same time. You know, we, we had the GFC hit and then resources boomed and we had the mining downturn about 2014. So when Mackay was finished, had it, can't, you know, can't go on anymore, you had unemployment at 5.6%. So when it's an absolute disaster, you've got unemployment at 5.6%.
And people say, well, mining can't go on forever, which oh, I hate to say it, but I'm probably not going to live forever neither. But only 5% of the population of the Mackay region are directly employed in mining. Mackay is a very, very diverse economy, whether it's rural, uh, cattle. There are more cattle within a 200 kilometre radius of Mackay than there is within a 200 kilometre radius of Rockhampton. Yet they call Rockhampton the beef capital of Australia. That's because Rockhampton doesn't have anything else. Mackay does. It, it has sugar. It has tourism. Uh, it has yeah, fishing. It, it, it's a very, very diverse and wealthy economy. So you've purchased this property. You're looking for investors. But what can you bring to the table on this? I mean, you've, you've seen opportunities here at this shopping centre, central to Mackay. What would you change to bring extra value to Caneland Central? Scott, uh, Sentinel Property Group have over $1 billion worth of commercial property, Mackay North, so Mackay, Townsville, Cairns and Darwin. So we know the area. We're, we're up there all the time. Now, early this year, actually the 31st of March, we settled a very large shopping centre in Darwin called Casarina Square for $418 million, which was the single largest property transaction ever north of Brisbane. And what we found out uh, once you start looking at something, uh, uh, just go back a little bit, but you know, a lot of people go for holidays up in, in Asia. And when you get up there, you see the Asians in the shopping centres. You think, well, why are they always in these shopping centres? Then you start to realise, well, when it's hot, what else do you do? You know, if it's 35 degrees and 90% humidity, you don't go for a jog, you don't go to ride the bike, you go to a shopping centre. So that's what we've seen at Canelands. And we see, while Mackay temperature certainly isn't as hot as Darwin, it's, it's, it's the same principle. Well, Tim, look, a very big announcement, a big purchase. But let's go through some of the numbers. Why is this a good deal for Sentinel? Why would this be a good deal for people to get involved in it as investors? Uh, we're purchasing, purchasing the asset, Scott, for a, uh, a yield of 7.9%. Um, and the asset has good opportunities for rental growth moving forward. And we have see plenty of opportunity also that we can improve the convenience of the centre and also the uh, rental growth uh, and outgoing saving for the asset and improving the net income. Sentinel seems to be shifting into that retail side. We've seen what you've done up in Casarina and Darwin. Now in Mackay here with Caneland Central. Is this a, 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 an area, an asset that, that people aren't interested in at the moment and you see the opportunity? Yeah, the asset has plenty of opportunity. We see that we can in, install and spend some capital expenditure on the asset. That will improve the convenience between um, the floors of the centre, improve the turnover. Uh, we see that we can regenerate uh, some of the uses in the internally. We've got opportunities to develop externally. Um, and all of that will uh, add value to the asset over time. And that's where we see the opportunity. All right. So I'm an investor. I'm looking at Caneland Centre. I'm looking at Sentinel. What's the message to me as an investor about why I get involved in this? Similar to our opportunity that we purchased in Casarina, Casarina Square, this is the main asset that looks after um, the whole region and there's no competition, direct competition for it. Also, we're purchasing the asset for less than half of uh, replacement costs, which we estimate around seven, $600 million. Uh, as well as there's opportunities to add value to the asset, uh, both internally and externally. There's some development opportunities externally, uh, some reconfigurations that we can look at internally to add uh, value and increase rentals and turnovers in the centre. Well, the Mackay region, uh, people are always concerned about what, how the local economy is going. Mackay, uh, it, it's central Queensland. We know that across the board, people are concerned about interest rates, inflation, headwinds from overseas like recession. But what about Mackay? How do you see the Mackay economy? Scott, I've been investing there. Well, the, f the first deal I did in Mackay was actually 1991, so, so uh, over 30 years ago. A and I've never seen uh, the economy in Mackay really do it tough. It, it is a very, very wealthy city. And most people would be surprised to know that the current unemployment rate in Mackay is 2.4 per cent. Yeah, would be the lowest of, of any major city in Australia. While I say major, uh, Mackay is in the top 20 fastest growing cities in Australia. So it's a very solid economy. Yeah. In terms of real estate investment trusts, Sentinel has been attracting more and more investors, particularly since January this year. 
Scott, we've had 215 new investors join us since uh, the 1st of January this, this year. The best time for us is when stock markets aren't doing too well. Uh, our average investor, as I've said earlier, is in the mid-60s. They go to the Bowls Club or they go and meet their friends for coffee and you know, they've heard the news this morning that the Dow Jones is down and my shares are down and you know, the papers and media like to talk about when things are tough. And then our investors say, oh, well, you know, I'm in 16 different funds with uh, Sentinel. I get mine the same day every month. That is really fantastic advertising for us. So when times are a little bit more uncertain, that's when we do much better. Caneland Central, uh, you've purchased it as it is, but clearly you want to make improvements to it. Where do you see the easy wins are for Caneland Central? Scott, we're in Mackay every couple of weeks. We, we have 25 to 30 properties in Mackay, so we're up there speaking to the local people and, and talking to them to see what they want. As we said earlier, we purchased Casarina Square Shopping Centre in Darwin earlier in the year. We have a tenant in there called Mecca Maxima, a cosmetic company, and they are absolutely doing enormous. We have another uh, company called Mimco, do fashion, fashion handbags, and they are just going unbelievable. I'm a little bit puzzled why tenants like that wouldn't be in Mackay. Mackay's only an hour north of Brisbane. I think one of the things that Sentinel brings to the management is that we are, well, we're Brisbane based, but we're in Mackay all the time. We, we understand the locals and we do care what they want. You know, our negotiations are done from a Queensland base, not from a Sydney or Melbourne base, where we're looking at what tenants would we like in Sydney or what would we like in Melbourne. And we know in Mackay that there's a lot of spending power. You know, a lot of people down south think, well, if you're north of Brisbane, you're only living there because you don't have any money. Well, that's not true. The average income in Mackay is much, much higher than what it would be in Sydney and Melbourne. So they have an enormous amount of spending power. So getting those tenants so people can actually spend the money. Now, Warren, why real estate investment trusts? Well, Scott, you have a few options. You either have direct property, which is, is quite often uh, residential. Uh, the wealthy investors w will own you know, larger commercial properties themselves. Or you can do a, what's called an ARE, Australian Listed Real Estate Investment Trust, or unlisted, which Sentinel are. Most people start off in, in residential, which they feel comfortable, comfortable with. But the returns are, are, are historically very low. You know, the figures that most people quote will be gross. And I was watching something on TV yesterday, and they are talking about... Uh, an investment guru getting 5% return on residential. That's gross. You know, it's probably 2 or 3% 3, 3 net. So without your capital growth in residential, it, it really is not a good investment at all. And then people say, oh, well, rather than buying, putting in an investment trust, I'd rather own a unit, a residential unit. Well, with the residential unit, you've got body corporates, and all you actually own is the air, is the air inside. You know, the front door of, of your unit, whether you live there or an investment unit, you can't put your Christmas decorations on there. That, that's body corporate. So people investing in, in units and they don't actually understand what they're investing in. Uh, and people say, well, why would I, why would I get into, into a commercial uh, property trust? Well, we do everything for you. The average age of our investors is uh, mid-60s. And, and the ideal investor for us is someone who has worked hard, they've had their own properties, but they've had enough. Uh, they don't want to do that. They don't want to have to collect the rents, and they don't want to have to do the insurance. They don't have to do the rent reviews. So we do all of those things for them, and we pay monthly distributions. When I first started the Sentinel Property Group back in 2010, uh, I was the first property trust to start paying monthly distributions. Investors, when they own their own properties, they get paid rent monthly. So that's what we do. We pay it. We pay it monthly, straight into your bank account. The return that we promote is a net return. We take into account all repairs, maintenance, insurance, uh, costs of leasing up legals. We, we always put away a, a, a retention for increased interest rates or whatever they are. So it's a worry-free investment, as worry-free as you can get with, with investing. You don't have the volatility that you have on, on the stock market. I think most people that I know would have had a margin call on the stock market. I know when I used to have shares, I used to get them. And I know I never got the call to say, hey, BHP's hit a record high today. It's a record low. So our investors, they invest for monthly income. 
to have a hol to have their holidays, uh, do whatever they want to do. You don't get the volatility in commercial property that you do in the stock market. You get monthly distributions. Uh, so I think it's as hassle-free as you can get, Scott. All right. Caneland Central, opportunity now with Sentinel. You want to get involved in it, what do you do? Uh, the best thing to do is, is get onto our website. You'll find an investor portal there, everything you need to know. You can either register through the um, investor portal or certainly pick up the phone and speak to us there. We're, we're happy to, to discuss anything, even if it's for a bit of a chat, if you haven't invested before. Whatever you want, happy to have a talk and, and send you some information if you have further interest. All right, Warren Ebbett, Tim Kent, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much, Scott.